Welcome back to Rick's List. I'm Rick Sanchez. The big news in California, a story with national implications. A federal judge has ruled against Proposition 8, which bans same-sex marriage, which means the ban is gone, lifted, right? Uh, it's a milestone in, in what's really been a six-year battle. It started when San Francisco Mayor Gavin Newsom, you remember, ordered the issuing of marriage licenses for same-sex couples. It was on the news every day, it seemed. Well, today's ruling doesn't end anything. There will be an appeal, and the judge issued a stay on his own order today, so it won't take effect immediately. But it's set the table. This case has Supreme Court written all over it. Tony Perkins, you know Tony Perkins. He heads the Family Research Council, and he supports Proposition 8. Mr. Perkins, thanks so much for being with us, with, with us sir. Evan Wolfson, he runs the group Freedom to Marry. He opposes uh, this ban. Uh, Mr. Perkins, I'm going to begin with you. Tell me why this judge, why Vaughn Walker is wrong in this decision that he's made tonight. Well, this is not the first time that a district level court has overturned a marriage amendment. And, and I think you're right, Rick, in pointing out that this has national implications. Mm -hmm. It's not uh, just the California marriage amendment. The California courts heard it, upheld it, uh, felt that the people acted in the right way, in the right manner. And this now is a challenge of the marriage amendment under the federal constitution. And so if uh, this were to stay in effect, go all the way to the Supreme Court, and they find that this case mm -hmm. uh, has merit, uh, it would overturn marriage uh, statutes but and back, amendments in back, 40, but, almost 45 states. But Mr. Perkins, back to my question. Why is the judge wrong? What's wrong with the judge is saying? The judge well, is essentially back saying, in, uh, look, I'll, I'll read it to you, and then you can disagree with it, OK? Here we go. Mark, if you're around. Yeah. Um, Proposition 8 prevents California from fulfilling its constitutional obligation to provide marriages on an equal basis. He's saying the state of California needs to recognize that all breathing human beings are equal and you can't separate one from the other by sexual preferences. That's what the judge is saying. You argue how? Wait, he well, he made this ruling based on, on the 14th Amendment, due process and equal right. protection. Now, a, a very similar decision was made back in 2006 by a district level court uh, over Nebraska's marriage amendment, which was overturned three to zero uh, by the Eighth Circuit because the same, same rationale was used that there was no rational basis for the state to uphold traditional marriage, yeah. marriage between a man and a woman. And, and that was, uh, as I said, overturned by the Eighth Circuit. You still it, haven't answered my, qu my cotton picket. You still haven't answered my cotton picket question. Why I just is answered he your question. Why is he wrong to say that? All right, let, 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 me, let me bring our other guest in. I'm confused. Because You're just as the Eighth Circuit found, there is a rational basis for the state to uphold traditional marriage. Okay. And, and that's what they found in the Eighth Circuit. And I'm certain that uh, when this goes, not at the Ninth Circuit, but all the way to the Supreme Court, uh, that it has a very good chance of being found in the same manner. Okay. That there right. is a rational basis okay. I apologize for states for, I, to I, I, define marriage. I apologize for getting frustrated. I, I, I wasn't hearing that then. You're defining it in terms of what the law says. Evan Wolfson, here, sir, uh, what, do you agree with him? This is just one judge. That's the ruling he made. But there's other judges out there who are going to say, no, sorry, traditional marriage is what rules in this country. Well, it's certainly true that this is one judge and that this is the first ruling in a case that will have to go forward and will be appealed. But I think the question you asked is what led Judge Walker to the ruling that he put forward, which any American can read now online. He asked the question, he asked their top lawyer, what harm would there be if gay couples are allowed to share in the love and commitment of marriage, the same love and commitment they have in their personal lives? And their top lawyer said, I don't know. And as the trial went forward, the evidence was put forward, the witnesses were there, and Judge Walker reviews them all. And what came out of the trial was there's not a single good reason for denying the freedom to marry to these committed couples. The evidence shows conclusively, Mark, back over here, please. The evidence shows, here, I have it right here in front of me, by the way, and I'll share it with you guys. The evidence shows conclusively that Proposition 8 enacts without reason a private moral uh, view that same-sex couples are inferior to opposite-sex couples. And this is born of animosity toward the class of persons affected. So it does seem like the judge is saying that, Mr. Perkins. 
Well, the judge is free to say whatever he wants. It doesn't make it true. But this is a, but this and, is, and as but, but other here's judges have but, found out. But here's the difference, sir. And here's where here's where I think your argument is a, a little slim. This is the first time okay. that we've looked at a case. No, I mean I'm just looking at it from a legal standpoint. This is the first time that a case like this has had national implications because other cases have been no, made no, at, at the at the regional level. Well, I've talked to constitutional lawyers today who say this case is different because this case has national implications and it's headed right for the Supreme Court. Many of the other no, regional the, the, the decisions did was that. true. Rick, the same thing was true in the Nebraska uh, case. The difference was Ted Olson shopped this knowing this was a perfect setup to do it in California in this district with a favorable uh, court. Then the appeal would go to the Ninth Circuit, which is the most overturned appellate court in the nation, uh, and would be a straight path to the Supreme Court. So there's no question about the venue. Mm -hmm. The arguments were made for that venue, but it's not the first time this has happened. Uh, well, uh, Evan will. Yeah, but you know, but Mr. Perkins, yeah, Mr. Perkins again has just not given us a reason. The same lack of reason that they showed in court is what we're hearing here tonight. Why shouldn't committed couples who've made a commitment in their life, who are doing the work of marriage, who are building a life together, who are worrying about their aging parents, who are raising children, okay, who are paying let's give, taxes, well, let's give him one who have made let's that give statement? Him, let's give them one What's more attempt. The I got it. We got the question, Evan. Mr. Uh, Perkins, one more attempt. Because the Why overwhelming evidence. Yes. The overwhelming evidence, social science shows, that children do best with a mother and a father. Not two adults, not three adults, not four adults, a mother and a father. Okay. The reason that okay, the government see, Mr. extends Mr. benefits Mr. Perkins. to marriage is because marriage benefits society. It's not because it's some kind of, uh, you know, arbitrary extension mm -hmm. of benefits to discriminate against a particular class. Mr. Well, Wilson, well, you got, actually, you got 20 seconds to answer woman, that, Mr. Wilson, then society. we got to move on. Sure, thank Go. you. Yeah, Mr. Perkins' side made that same argument in court, and they were unable to produce a single witness a scrap of evidence to make it true. And the fact of the matter is, the kids who are being raised by gay parents are harmed when their parents are denied marriage. All right, one the more, freedom one to marry more, is something more, we all one, can share. One more closing thing. Mark, come back to me. Here we go. This is what the judge had to say about that now that we've listened to both of you. Proposition 8, singles out gays and lesbians as legitimate and legitimates their unequal treatment. Proposition 8 perpetuates the stereotype that gays and le lesbians are incapable of forming long-term loving relationships and that gays and le lesbians are are not good parents. So that's what the court said. We'll leave it at that. It will be challenged. That's and we appreciate, we appreciate, you're right, sir. We appreciate what both of you gentlemen have brought today to the table. Uh, Mr. Perkins, thanks so much for being with us. Uh, Mr. Wilson, same as, same as, uh, uh, same to you.